Welcome to Known Unknowns. Ogre-faced spiders hang from their webs, and like gymnasts, they flip backwards to snatch flying insects from the air. To hear their prey coming, the spiders listen for the flap of tiny wings using a special organ in their spindly legs, a new study has found. The organ looks like a patch of parallel slits cut into the spider's exoskeleton, located near the tip of each leg, each slit measures between 10 to 200 nanometers in length. These tiny slits contain nerve cells that detect minute changes in pressure caused by sound waves rippling through the air, the organ then sends this information to the brain. Thus equipped, ogre-faced spiders, Deinopis spinosa, can hear sounds up to 6.5 feet away and pick up frequencies between 100 and 10,000 hertz, according to a new study, published October 29 in the journal Current Biology. It's very alien to us because we don't have a sensory system like this, said study author J. Staffstrom, a postdoctoral researcher studying sensory biology at Cornell University. Humans, of course, use their eardrums to detect sounds, but spiders don't have eardrums. That said, Staffstrom and his colleagues suspected that the ogre-faced spider might rely on some form of hearing to snag flying prey from the air and the new study supports that suspicion. The authors found that certain sounds sent the spiders flipping, as if on cue, the arachnids would hear the sound and perform a sudden half-back flip as if launching toward a passing bug. Ogre-faced spiders can be found in forested regions of Australia, Africa and parts of the United States, including Florida, according to Cosmos magazine, the teeny spiders, which measure 1.5 to 2.5 centimeters, in length, hide among palm fronds and other vegetation and use their nimble acrobatics to catch moths, mosquitoes and flies that fly past. The flip is ballistically rapid, it's very quick, and they're surprisingly accurate, in terms of enabling the spider to catch prey on the fly, Staffstrom told. From such a tiny little spider, with a tiny little brain, it's very impressive. The spiders hide from predators throughout the day, camouflaged to blend in with the plants they live on. At night, the arachnids emerge and use their two huge, night vision eyes to spot crawling insects on the ground below. To catch the creepy crawlies, the spiders hang suspended from a web near the ground and ensnare bugs in a tiny, stretchable net that they hold between four legs. The spiders deploy the same net to catch flying insects but they contort their bodies backwards to aim the net upward, rather than lurching down toward the ground. It wasn't initially clear, however, if the spiders relied on their night vision to aim the net at flying prey.